again, we will talk about the two amazing free gifts I'm giving you. But first, let's talk about the week ahead. This is the daily financial news for Saturday. Uh, we're going to talk about the important uh, earnings as well as the economic data coming next week. Let's talk with earnings first. Starts off hot with Zoom on Monday. Then on Tuesday, we get Toll Brothers, Lowe's, and Macy's. Tuesday is going to be interesting, right? Toll Brothers, in case you don't know, they're really a luxury home builder. What is going on with inventory, with asking, with margin, with deliveries? Going to be very telling. Lowe's, are they doing better than Home Depot? Are they not? Macy's, is Macy's like Target or is Macy's like Ross stores? Right? Are we seeing a bifurcation in the market? And then on Wednesday, we get Peloton, NVIDIA, Guess, Kohl's, and Snowflake. Peloton, is it just an iPad on a bike? Are they going subscription? What is going on there? NVIDIA, talk about uh, AI, right? What is going on with NVIDIA? Do they have another massive beat or will it be a disappointment? Guess, again, retail is very interesting. This is the this is the week for retail. Kohl's, again, are we at Target or are we raw stores? And then Snowflake, again, I've shared that SaaS companies have to be feeling the pain. Uh, one of the high valuations out there is Snowflake, so I think it will be telling what's going on there. And then Thursday, we get Nordstrom's, Gap, TD Bank, Dollar Tree, and Petco. Again, lots of data to be gleaned from this. Petco, what are we doing with all of our pandemic pets? Dollar Tree, are we trading down? TD Bank, what's going on with medium-sized banks? Gap, and of course, Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's could be interesting, right? The aspirational buyer. Is it similar uh, to other companies who have struggled there, or are they doing well? As the economic Landscape goes, Tuesday, we will get existing home sales. Remember, existing home sales reported on Tuesday will be from the previous month. They're going to be okay. They'll probably be over 4 million. I believe the August existing home sales that comes out in September will be under 4 million. Uh, new home sales. Uh, again, I expect them to be strong. Again, new home sales. Uh, they're buying down rates. They're playing with these things. So very interesting. Thursday, initial claims. Are we still trending up? Are we sub 250? Where are we going? And then the big day, the big day is Friday. We get Jackson Hole speech from uh, Jerome Powell. He, last year, he kicked the market in the nuts, said basically, we're going higher. You're not listening. Of course, billionaire Barry didn't listen to him. Uh, but yes, uh, what will he say this time? Will he talk about banking? Will he talk commercial bank? Will he talk about cutting? Will he talk about raising? Uh, it is going to be must watch TV if you like economic uh, information. Uh, we shout out Elena Botros from Fortune. Uh, she is part of the great Lance Lambert's team. She did a very good article in Fortune I read over the weekend talking about insurance costs are creating forced sellers. She wrote about some sellers in a 55 plus community in Florida called Century Village that they're watching their HOA costs go up because of insurance costs and they can't make the payment. Some people have to sell. Folks, if you're not watching insurance and property taxes, there could be lots of reasons to create forced sellers. These are costs that are variable and can change yearly uh, based on where you are. So again, check out that Elena Botros from Fortune. Uh, obviously on Saturday, I looked up what's going on in the market. The stock market does seem to be reeling. Uh, obviously the Fed is higher for longer. There's talk of more rate increases. Uh, we've seen a great reversal in a lot of the kind of technology stocks. It makes perfect sense. Higher rates for longer. I think the market is finally understanding what is going on. But again, remember inflation. We've often talked about inflation in three parts. There's goods, which we already passed. There's housing, which is just about to get better. It starts getting better next month and every month thereafter for the next four to six months. So we're almost there. But wages, what is going on with wages? Will we get wage inflation or not. Jeremy Siegel uh, is out talking about, he is not concerned about wage inflation because of productivity. Yes, folks, productivity is something that can blunt wage inflation. Uh, so Jeremy Siegel is out talking about that. And then finally, let's talk about yellow bankruptcy. Folks, if you don't know who yellow is, they are in the shipping industry. Uh, they went right to bankruptcy. They are now kaput. But one of the things we're gonna see as capacity leaves the system, is the system actually will be more profitable. If you don't know, trucking has been in a bad state the last several months, if not quarters. Trucking gets better when capacity leaves. Pricing gets firmer. Uh, so again, if it's obviously terrible for yellow 
employees, yellow, um, you know, vendors and things of that nature. But the overall trucking industry, because a significant capacity has been removed, uh, they will actually be stronger. And then lastly, builders. The big question I have for builders, specifically new home builders, is are they going to continually build smaller and smaller homes and fill the need? Folks, the housing market is broken. Below the median is on fire. Above the median ice cold. Uh, we need smaller, cheaper homes. Will the builders do that? Uh, lastly, we'll talk about GDP now and trueflation. Trueflation currently pegs us at 2.61% below the 32 that the government is calling. And GDP now has Q3 GDP at 5.8%. That is as of August 16th. I do expect it to get better from here. And then lastly, do yourself a favor. Check out the All In podcast. I think the last 20 minutes, David Sachs talks about his personal journey with commercial financing. It is not good. Thank you.